sharks, flying sharks, and uh, how you tame them. Uh, I'd like to introduce me. My name is Florian uh, Pilsner. I'm the CEO of Unifera GmbH. And this is uh, Clemens Edler, the mastermind uh, behind uh, end to end um, all the things we are going to demo today will be uh, published under open source licenses, under the DPL if it's public license, under the Apache license, and you will find them under the Unifera open source. And the Unifera open source will become a foundation, a Verein in, in, in German, and uh, we are going to put all the sources there. Yeah? Also, a lot of a lot of a lot of projects in Unifera GmbH will develop will be published under uh, open source licenses. Um, well, uh, you might think, uh, what, are, what are these guys doing there? Yeah? Why are they bringing their own shark and uh, talking about S2M? Uh, we got an invitation some months ago to keep a keynote at the Eclipse testing day in Darmstadt and you know, try to figure out what's really cool at the moment. Yeah? So we browsed the web and we found out the internet of things, M2M, machine to machine uh, technologies, um, are increasing very fast. So we thought, yeah, okay, let's uh, let's let's start our very own uh, end-to-end -end project and go to the keynote and tell them about machine-to-machine uh, -machine communication. Uh, we are going to, to 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 keep a talk. We we have to think about what's really cool for the for the uh, persons uh, watching us. Uh, first, we thought, okay, to to uh, laptops and we are sending bits and bytes, uh, but I think uh, you won't be really impressed. Yeah? about uh, seeing bits and bytes um, sent from one uh, computer to, uh, to, to, to a second. We thought we need something really great, something really cool, and we decided to use a shark. Yeah, it's not that easy to get a shark in your pet shop, <laughs> and it's not that easy to uh, bring a big white shark to, to, the, to the team of the day. Um, well, so we decided to use a shark that's much more comfortable, that's much more easier to tame, and in the web we found Sharky. Yeah. You see here, you can bring it everywhere, and it's, 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 he's, he's really tame. Um, so, but we needed some, some other stuff, some other really cool stuff. Um, remote controlling a shark, um, yeah, it's nice. But it would be nicer to to, to 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 build some kind of a shark alarm. Yeah? You must imagine there's a beach. There's a beach, and if Sharky uh, 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 um, comes to the beach and he comes nearer than uh, two meters, alarm should be triggered. So we also use it, uh, added um, ultrasonic sensors. Yeah? Ultrasonic sensors. You can see them here. If Sharky uh, comes uh, too close, we are going to to, to trigger an alarm light it's, it's, it's here. So, the main idea. The main idea uh, behind, um, now we have, to, we have to ensure that Sharky is tame. Yeah? <laughs> uh, we have to ensure it every time, and so we decided to implement a J-Unit test. A J-Unit test that would ensure that Sharky exactly does uh, what he's expected to do. Here we can see, yeah, there is a unit test, it sends commands to an M2M server, machine to machine, server, it's getting crazy. <laughs> um, the M2M uh, server will send uh, M2M messages to a remote control, uh, the remote control will uh, uh, control Sharky, Sharky will do exactly the same as the unit test, Sharky will pass the ultrasonic sensor, and uh, J unit will show a green light or a red light. So that's 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 the main idea we, we had. So we we started the project. We are four persons. It's Peter Bieloitke, Clemens Edler, uh, Cristiano Gabiao. Uh, he isn't here. He's from Brazil, and and me. Um, well, we started to figure out things. We thought, okay, it might be it might be some days to make uh, things work working properly. Uh, yeah, but it figured out it, it, it took months yeah, to to implement the big bones and to connect them to each other. It was some kind of chuck shading, you know, chuck shading. No, you don't know about chuck shading. Yeah, chuck shading means uh, we have a chuck, yeah, and we try to shave it. Yeah, you 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 got your razor, 
you will start shading the chuck and you think, oh, about one hour and I'm finished. After one hour, you do not even have uh, shaped his neck. Yeah? And then you, then you figure out that it will take uh, much more time than you uh, even, even uh, scheduled. Yeah, we shaved well and we got a result. <laughs> A, sh a, shaving, a, sh a shaved chuck in the sheet, but there are no pictures around about shaved chucks in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the, the a short story uh, behind uh, Sharky, you can see uh, Sharky number one, that's a very emotional picture for me, that's Sharky number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he, he's resting in, in, in my living room at home. Um, well, we did some tests. Uh, um, on um, Saturday evening, on Sunday evening, I tried to to to, to do another test, and then Chucky could could uh, fly free in our flat. And Sunday evening, I tried to find Chucky. He isn't that small, and my flat isn't so big, yeah. But he escaped. Yeah? He followed some kind of airflow out to the balcony. <laughs> 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 so, so we so so we had really we we we, we became really hurry, yeah. Two days after we had the big uh, keynote in uh, Darmstadt and Sharky was escaped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, now uh, some, 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 some details about Sharky. Now I'd like you to, to introduce how Sharky works. Yeah, that's Sharky, and that's a remote controller. Now it isn't attached to any device. Yeah, I can, um, um, if I put left, uh, the fin will go left, right, the fin will go right, uh, so Sharky may go forward, and to make him dive or rise, there is a weight at the front, I put it back, Sharky will uh, rise, I put it forward, Sharky will dive. Now I'm going to zero, Sharky, just a second. <coughs> Keynote uh, decided not to, not to Show the, the movement. So I have to start it by hand. Okay, now I can see how Sharky works. warming here, so Sharky uh, uh, gets too high. So now the next idea, uh, we also we that was easy. We paused Sharky. We 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 we, um, we uh, followed the, the instructions, and that's easy to fly Sharky. Uh, the next problem was how to remote control Sharky by end to end. Yeah? <coughs> uh, we had the remote controller. We had our Sharky. Now we needed a way to 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 press the buttons by a BB phone. Yeah? Therefore, we we implemented some kind oh, sorry, some kind of a of our RC shale break, you will uh, chain break, you'll see what I'm talking about later. And we added a bigger bone to it. The bigger bone will send uh, signals to the RC chain break, and the chain break will remote control our sharky. Now we need a way to uh, 
yeah, to, 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 to put inputs to that DB form, yeah? Therefore, we added a Wagner UI, you know, Wagner, I will talk about later. It's a web UI and an end-to-end -end server. Wagner will send end-to-end -end messages, enqueued messages, enqueued, you know, about the enqueued protocol, it's the Google protocol. It's, it's, it was designed for very, for embedded devices with uh, very, very low overhead. And it will send um, um, enqueued messages to end to end server, and the end to end server will distribute the messages, the uh, publish subscribe uh, mechanism. The BB Baron will receive the messages and will um, control the shark keys. Yeah, that's it. Uh, before we go into to take a look at the, at the um, <coughs> details, how to, how to remote control it. Um, that's a BBBone, that's a BBBone Black. Uh, we are running Linux on it, we are running Mihini on it, and Lua. Mihini is an open source project uh, provided by Eclipse Foundation, um, and uh, it's some kind of an abstraction above, above, above embedded devices, and Lua is a, is a pretty language. Here you can see it, there's the BBBone, the BBBone remote controls Sharky, and there's Mihini, Mihini uh, connects to, to the end-to-end -to -end server and above there is, there is Lua. Um, well, we, we added a, a really nice feature. We, um, we, we made the enqueued server running on a BB bone for an I2. Here you can see there is the M2M server running on a BB bone. Uh, the client sends enqueued messages uh, to the server and the Sharky controller gets the information how to remote control Sharky. That's the jailbreak. <laughs> We, 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 we had to figure out our own electronic uh, uh, parts, so we are not uh, really, uh, we do not have a lot of knowledge about it, but, but it works, yeah? We have to solid all the things, and it, 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 it was uh, quite interesting. Uh, here you can see, um, um, all together, there, the remote controller. The remote controller is attached uh, by, by wires to the, to the jailbreak. The jailbreak is attached to the BB bone. Uh, the BB bone uh, connects to the end to end server, gets information. The information will be passed to the remote controller and Sharky will fly. And here you can see the ultrasonic sensors. We are using Arduino. Arduino is attached to the BB bone. We have to use Arduino since uh, the um, uh, ultrasonic sensor block, um, yeah, may, may block the, the information if they do not measure any distance. Uh, we get a delay of one second, and so we have to use the Arduino. There are some ele electronic parts for level shifting. And up, you can see the, 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 the flashlight if Sharky uh, comes near to the, oh, it's, it's, it's turned off, to the, um, to the, uh, to the ultrasonic sensor. Can you see it? Well, here you can see the, the, the web UI we will use immediately, and that's Vadim. Vadim is a, is, a, is, a, is a project to, um, to, to write web applications. It consists of a server side and a, and a, and a browser side part. Uh, it's called the, the, the hard object pattern. You have two objects, one at the server side, one at the client side. <coughs> and client and server side are connected. Yeah? So you, you do not have to write any JavaScript code. We just write uh, code on your server side and the JavaScript code will be rendered at, 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 at one time. And you can see it again. So it's another Wagner talk, so I'm uh, just uh, explaining uh, some details. You know, half object pattern, server and browser, and the widgets are communicating. Ah, well, that's, the, that's the, the, the final result, and now we are going to, uh, to uh, run a Sharky by our, by our web UI. It follows exactly the same uh, uh, you can see nothing. Yeah, there we is. So you can see there are, there are buttons. Uh, these 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 uh, the compressor button and cute message is sent to the to the M2M server and it redirects to the. So now we are we are giving speed.
Um, okay, I'm going to, 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 to restart the, 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 the Admin Web UI. Maybe we got a time out. Just a second. I oh, yeah, I got a timeout. Works. Here we can see the, the, the speed button and all the messages that are sent to the to the to the remote controller. Wow. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> now it works. So we can use the we can use the web UI to remote control Sharky. And we have uh, we 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 have um, we have uh, and we also prepared uh, a tablet, so you can you can use the tablet to remote control Sharky from from your position. It's not that easy to fly it by 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 web interface. <laughs> Uh, who wants to who wants to um, to remote control Shaki? <laughs> <laughs> And it, and, it, and, it, and it really works properly. It's like a delphin, delphin show. <laughs> okay, well, so, so let's continue with uh, So, so that was the, the we already used uh, the tablets, um, and of uh, we also implemented some some, some recording mechanisms. So we can record uh, the, the 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 way how Sharky flies, um, and we we can use it for the unit test. Yeah? We just feed it into the unit test, and we tell Sharky fly this way and this way and this way theoretically, <laughs> and Sharky will pass the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, I'm gonna uh, do do not go into demo then in detail. Um, but a uh, very interesting part is the shark alarm. Yeah? Shark alarm means that you're, you're lying on the beach, you are uh, swimming in the sea, and if a shark um, comes near to the beach, some kind of alarm should be, should be processed. Yeah? You can see the, the shark alarm here. It's some kind of an ultrasonic sensor. It's an ultrasonic sensor, and it will trigger the, the, the flashlight. So now we are, what, what are we doing now? Now we are starting a unit test. Unit test should block Sharky theoretically um, 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 point to the ultrasonic sensors, and the flashlight uh, should should turn on. Ultrasonic sensors are connected to the Arduino. Arduino is connected to the Beagle Bone, 
and the flashlights are connected to BB bones. Yeah. yeah. So we are using Lua to 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 to, to control all that <coughs> all that stuff. So I need Shark in here. When, when, when the ultrasonic sensor will, will, will start to trigger, yeah? we put in the, we are putting them to 70 centimeters, and uh, we can see it. If, 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 if Sharky comes nearer than 70 centimeters, um, it will trigger. Sharky? Can you speak there? So, now I'm going to, to switch to the unit test. Here you can see the unit test. Uh, it's it's really simple. Yeah. We are we are we are ah. You can see nothing. <laughs> yeah. Can see nothing. So it's 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 it's, it's really simple. We 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 just uh, create a Sharky controller. We subscribe to alarm topic. Uh, we create a callback for the MQ protocol. And here you can see we are using the Sharky controller to uh, to 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 send uh, the command. The sending the command is so easy. Yeah, you can see uh, here the command is just one call. Uh, enqueued, that's the enqueued client provided by the Eclipse project. Publish, and we are sending a command: Sharky left, Sharky up, Sharky down, uh, and uh, Sharky will will follow. Uh, <laughs> so now I'm going to uh, start the J unit test. So test. So Shaki starts, the control by the unit test. We fly, we fly. I think he will turn right. He will turn left. No, he will turn right. <laughs> <laughs> we help him. Finding his Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think the unit test. I think the unit test uh, uh, Sharky, just follow us on at Pflow on Twitter, and yeah, thanks, thanks for your attention. Thank you.